From Washington, this is VOA News. President Trump on Wednesday defended his decision to fire the head of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. He said James Comey wasn't doing a good job. Critics of the decision to fire Comey say it raises questions about the FBI's investigation of Russian involvement in the presidential election and possible cooperation between Trump campaign aides and Russian interests. Many Democrats criticized Trump's decision, as did some Republicans, members of Trump's own political party. Mr. Trump met with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov on Wednesday. It was Lavrov's first visit to the nation's capital since 2013. Lavrov spoke to reporters at the Russian embassy after the meeting with Trump. He said that uh, the two discussed Syria in great detail. It said we have a common understanding about the fact that that should be a, a step that would contribute to the cessation of violence throughout the territory of Syria. A Libyan Coast Guard ship picked up more than 350 migrants at sea Wednesday after a potentially deadly encounter with a German rescue boat. No casualties are reported and all the migrants rescued off the coastal city of Sabratha are safely back in Tripoli. It's unclear if Libyan um, authorities plan to take any legal action against a ship that uh, came dangerously close to ramming the Libyan Coast Guard ship. It was called Sea Watch, apparently attempting to drive off the Libyan Coast Guard, saying it's unsafe for the migrants to be taken back to Tripoli. You're listening to news from the Voice of America in Washington. The streets of Venezuela's capital were scenes of violent clashes between anti-government protesters and security forces once again on Wednesday. One person was killed, dozens injured, as National Guardsmen tear-gassed protesters in Caracas as they tried to march to the Supreme Court. Protesters lobbed bottles at government troops who were armed with tear gas and water cannons. Eighty-four people have been hospitalized, according to a local politician. Tensions have heightened since President Nicolas Maduro began a push last week to hold a special assembly to rewrite the Constitution. Opposition leaders charged the decision is a ploy to keep the president and his allies in power. The oil-rich South American nation has been facing an economic crisis since world oil prices dropped, leaving the population plagued by rising crime, vast food and medical supply shortages and triple-digit inflation. President Trump and the new South Korean President Moon Jae-in agreed in a phone call Wednesday to cooperate in dealing with North Korea's nuclear weapons development program. South Korean officials said that Trump described issues involving the North's military ambitions as complicated but ones that could be resolved. Trump invited Moon to visit Washington. Pakistan says a border dispute that caused deadly clashes with Afghanistan recently is likely to be settled later this week. If that happens, Pakistan will reopen a busy crossing with landlocked Afghanistan. Thousands of travelers, as well as trade and transit convoys headed to Afghanistan, are now stranded. And Chelsea Manning, the Army private who leaked a large amount of information, secret information, to WikiLeaks, 
released her first statement uh, Tuesday since being cr granted clemency by then-President Obama. In the statement, she said, I can see a future for the first time for myself as Chelsea. She was referring to her transition from male to female since her army service. The former intelligence analyst in Iraq was known at the time as Bradley Manning. She was convicted in 2013 of leaking more than 700,000 secret military and State Department documents and battlefield video. Her lawyers have said she was subjected to violence in prison and attempted suicide twice last year. You can find more on these and other stories at voanews.com. That's the latest world news from VOA.